Hey guys, it's Friday, uh, June something or other. So, the guy came yesterday. And he picked up the baler. It's gone. So, today he's supposed to be coming back to pick up the hay bind. So we gotta dig that out. It's away in the back of the metal building. So, I'll uh, attach a few pictures of getting the baler on the trailer. It was quite the experience. It's a eight foot wide baler and a seven foot wide trailer. So I'll uh, show you guys what we did. All right, so more on the baler subject. Uh, but he came from Windsor. I think I mentioned that's about five, six hour drive. He shows up with a trailer uh, seven feet wide and uh, the baler outside wheel to outside wheel is right around eight feet and it's like one of those trailers with the humps on it like the for the wheels or whatever it's like a car hauler trailer or whatever I don't know what they call them but uh, anyway basically we backed the baler on with the tractor but the one side that kind of sticks out like one side's in line with the drawbar and that side we backed on you know normally but the other side we put a chain uh, around the axle of the baler and lifted it with the attache and I just tracked uh, with that side of the baler in the air I just carried it as we were backing the uh, baler up onto the trailer and uh, yeah that was fun uh, I'm glad the guy paid for it before we got it loaded on the trailer because she's got a few more uh, scratches and dents in it now than it's ever got in the last 30 years or whatever but uh whatever the guy didn't care uh what an awkward thing anyway so the guy's coming back for the hay bind and i assume he's going to bring the same trailer so what we're going to do with that is we're going to take the pin out of the hitch on it uh at the opposite end at the opposite of the tractor end so we should be able to load it on the trailer sideways and then just pull that whole hitch tube assembly off and then it should be narrow enough. So anyway, that's the plan. I don't know how we're going to lift it or anything like that. It's uh, you know, a pretty rough plan. I'm not sure if you could just use the ramps from the trailer and back it right onto the trailer. Like I don't know if it would clear the uh, fenders for the tires or not. but. Anyway, so I'll just quickly show, quickly show you guys where the hay pine is at in here. There it is, way back in the corner. So we got the rake in the way, this harvester is in the way, which means the tether's in the way, 1105 is in the way. 453 is in the way. Uh, can't get that harvester out without getting the mower out, so the mower is in the way. 3650 is in the way. 3070 is in the way. 375 is in the way. Uh, scissor lift is in the way. So, yeah, pretty much got to take everything out to uh, get that hay bind out. I think we'll be able to weasel the scissor lift without moving the blower, although it doesn't matter, the blower has to come out anyway, but...
Alright, just pulled the mower out. That was fun. Move the rake over. Or the tether, actually. The rake has to come out. And the harvester has to come out. But uh, little Missy's is uh, going to go down for a nap now. So I got to run. Pretty big harvester, isn't it? All right, guys, one last thing before I go in the house. What do you think? I'm gonna tighten it up, obviously, but five inch MBRP polished 304 stainless uh, turnout, or whatever you wanna call it. That looks good. Oh yeah. Better than that rusty old piece of junk that was on it. All right, looks like they got the hay buying out. And looks like the yeah, hitch things off of it. Just two pins holding it anyway. So it's ready for the guy whenever he decides to show up. It's supposed to come around six, seven o'clock tonight. So that'll be gone next too. Well, she's gone. Just left with it.